Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to show you how you can create labels in Word. So first of all, labels are on the Mailings tab. I'll go to Mailings. You've got labels here under Mail Merge. This is not what I'm going to talk about today. This is a different thing. This is a label for yourself if you want to create a, a sheet of self-addressed labels. This is part of the mail merge that I want to talk about where we're creating labels and this is the option that I want to use. So you select labels, the label wizard comes up and allows you to select the type of label that you might want. So this is on Avery A4, A5, that's what I want and the label number is 7101. But you can see from this list there's quite a lot of different labels and each label is laid out slightly different. So if I go into details, it gives you the width, etc., etc., and crucially, how many across and how many down. So if your address block that you want to put on the label is too big, you may need to think again about which type of label you want, or adjust the font, or change the, the amount of information you're putting in the address. But this is okay for this example. I'm not going to change anything. Click OK to that. You have got the option there to create a new label. If you've bought a label that's not branded, hasn't got this number on, um, you might have to just recreate this label, a label that mirrors whatever size this is um, yourself or whatever size comes in the box. It usually tells you on the box of labels what the size is measurement wise. Uh, it could be, if it's in the US, it'll be in inches, obviously. Just cancel that. So I'm happy with that. I'm clicking OK. And now I've got this grid on the screen and I can see the grid. Now this is a table, you can see this is a table, table design and layouts on there. If you don't see the grid, it's probably because on layout you've got that switched off. So you just get this, which I think is quite hard to look at. So I always have that on. It's normally on by default and there's your grid where you put your labels. Uh, don't need to deal with anything else in table design. It's back to mailings and we start the mail merge process by selecting recipients or using an existing list or typing your own list, should I say. And that's what I want to do in this example because I just want to use Word for this. So to type a new list, you have to basically create the fields that you want to appear in your label. So first off, I need to change some of these columns. So I don't want some of this stuff. I don't want email address, so I'm just going to delete that. Yep. I don't want any phone numbers, so I'm just going to delete that. You don't have to do any of this because you can just leave them blank and it won't fill it in. Country or region, I don't need that either. And that needs to be changed because I'm in the UK, that's, that's going to be postcode. And the other one needs to be changed, it says state, that needs to be county. And you can add extra things in this list as well. Um, and I don't really want address line two, so I'm going to keep it quite simple. And I don't want company name either, so I'm really stripping this down now, as you can see. So that's quite a, a tidy little list, and I can fill that in. Click OK to that, and then you just fill it in. So I'll just do a, a few records. So press your tab key, and then you can type your names in. Pressing tab, coming across. One, two, three, Red Road. I don't live there. Leeds. And tab across. And I'll just put Yorks. Just keep it simple. And L E 2 2 R T. And then tab again, ready for a new record. I'll just add a few extra records in a second. So I've just typed a few people in there, mainly in Leeds and one in Bradford. So when you're happy with your list, you just click OK, and then it will ask you to save that list because you can add extra things to it afterwards. So it's it's in my data sources, documents my data sources, and it's just called whatever I want to call it. So I'll just call it my address is, should have put labels, but never mind, save. Now, it populates with this next record field. What you have to do is put the first address field in this first box. So you've got some options here. Address block, which is what I want to do. Now, 
that hasn't put everything in that's just going down to leads I might be okay with that but if you wanted to do it manually let me just show you how that works first off address block and then you preview your results so that just shows you that one now if you didn't want that address block like that and you want to do it manually so just get rid of that you can use this option insert merge field so title and then you want the first name space surname or last name now that I'm not happy about that going on to a second line so a quick look at that no that's okay press enter so address line one press enter city enter county enter postcode just about fitting let's have a look that works okay for me so that fits but there's an example if you had the country in there as well that might knock it down probably just fit the country but if you had two address lines and the country you're going to knock this outside of this box so this this size label wouldn't do now what you have what you have to do next is obviously I want all the other labels in in these boxes you have you have to click this button update labels so there you go populate in now you don't need to finish the merge because this is this is the end product the labels you just print this off you save this and print this off this will grow as you add extra people so if I go back to edit recipient list there's that list if I want to add another person I can't actually type in there I've need, I need to go onto this database and edit that that's the source and then you're back to this where you can um, and Jones, let's put Ann Jones in there. It's quite hard to think of people's names. Red Street, Leeds. And this is how you add extra people. You can't basically just type them in. Well, you shouldn't type them in. Press tab, click OK. Do you want to update the recipient list? Yes, I do. So Ann Jones has come in there. OK and then she pops into the list so once you've done this the jobs are done you don't need to worry about it again any additional uh, data entries will be picked up automatically so you're fine so that's basically how you create a mailing label list in Word you get your data source you select your labels and off you go and that's it so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time I'll see you in the next one